How dead are they? Pretty dead. Pretty dead. GG. We have a lot of draws off the top that are just lethal at this point anyways. Shock it in. They do. <laughs> Let's go to combat. We're attacking with everything, baby. No fear in this dojo. Math. Four blockers. That's right. How's it going, y'all? Titans Fan920, and today we're back at it with some more Pioneer action. It has been a while. Uh, since Theros Beyond Death came out, Standard's actually been fun again. So I've been putting a lot of time in playing that and enjoying it. However, not that I have anything against Pioneer. I still love Pioneer and want to play some more. So here we are. Um, so for what we have here today for the first video on Pioneer for a while is a little homebrew of my own. This is Gruel Company. Uh, when Pioneer was announced, I think a lot of people thought the Collected Company was going to be a staple in the format. And it's not really got to do a lot. Um, so basically what I'm trying to do with this deck is abuse Collected Company. I uh, have a lot of three drops here to be able to hit off of it. Uh, thanks to Theros, we have things like Koythos, God of Destiny, we can play in this now. Uh, they can come online pretty fast. We have like your Gruel Spellbreakers, your Steel Leaf Champion, just counting for three pips on its own there. Not too shabby. The only things the deck doesn't hit is Glorybringer and Embercleave, but that's still 27 hits between the one drop and three drop slot there. So we're really trying to go hard to turn one Mystic or Land Warrior Elves and to turn to one of these creatures here. Um, so I want to try this deck out. This may be hot garbage, who knows, but I've not played Pioneer in a while and I want to give this a shot. Uh, so this is what we got. Let's take it in some games. Not, not, no leagues or anything. I'm not even touched MTGO in basically a month. So hopefully I don't like misclick something because it's been a while. But let's take this in, in some games here. See how it goes. Let's go. All right, we got our first opponent here. This is Dante Horn 11. Dun, dun, dun. We've lost the die roll. Let's see how it goes. Opener. This is solid. We got turn one Mystic, turn two Cloythus, Spellbreaker, or Rabble Master. So pretty much the dream. See what the opponent's got for us. Starting off with the Water Grave tapped. Pass a turn. So we'll play a Game Trail. Reveal a Forest. And play an Elvish Mystic and pass the turn. Let's see what the opponent. Sulfur Falls, so a little bit of Grixis. Red, black, I'm assuming Mystic's about to die. No, no. The Pump Fake. Coco, not a bad one. Let's play another game trail, reveal the same forest, and. I think here we just want to play play the Cloythus. That way if we get a good hit off of the uh, company next turn, then this will be live. We already got three devotion here. Four, five, six, seven. So like we got, you know, any kind of two hitter off of it, it's probably going to work. Kiora resolves. So now I could main phase this, which I usually don't want to do, but considering they may have counter spells here, I think that's what we're in line for. So let's go ahead and main phase company. See what we hit. Bone Crusher Giant, Land of War Elf. Definitely not the best hits, that's for sure. Throw these in the order. Ship the turn. Good news is, if things don't die here, we'll have a pretty explosive turn this next turn. So let's see what Kiora does to us. Kind of unfortunate that our best, yeah, Bolus, not too afraid of that. We will X out or discard, I guess a spell breaker. Let's discard that. They'll get to draw a card. We have one, two, three, four, five. We hit another land here. We can go Rabble Master and a spell breaker. Company, not a bad one. We will exile our own spell breaker. Let's drain them. One, two, three. One, two. Let's, uh. I actually do want a company. Let's go ahead and go to tax here first, I think. We're just gonna attack them. I don't think we're not gonna be able to attack down that cure anytime soon, so I think we're just attacking with that for now. They don't block. Considering the build it looks like they have here, I doubt they're playing counter spells, so we'll go ahead and wait on this company for now. Bolus is good, but if they just play like a nickel ball. Ooh. 
Well, in that case, I guess we're company. Steel Leaf and another Mystic, I suppose. Any order of those, pass the turn. So even on the draw, just look at all the things we have out here now. This Cloythus Devotion is dying, so you turn it on really quickly, even with a bunch of Elvish Mystics out here. Now they can decide between the Rabble Master and the Spellbreaker. Rabble Master down, they go to 12. A Ritual of Soot would hurt here, but since they've already played Lamb, we shouldn't have to worry about that. Stillleaf down. Okay, so we're still going to get to turn on this Spellbreaker next turn. We'll be able to get them down to 10 with this drain. That is a ballsy attack. Oh, and they attack. Gotcha. Don't be stupid, Daniel. Come on. All right. Cloythus will take care of their dread boar, I guess. Drain him for two. Now we can go Rabble Master. Oh, they, they, come on, buddy. At least let us do the thing. We were going to get a swing for 4 8. Yeah, they were just dead there either way because of the devotion picking up. They could block one of these. Let's go sideboard. Sideboard against Control. We'll probably want some heroic intervention. I didn't talk a lot about the sideboard beforehand. Um, this sideboard's a work of my own. This may not be good at all. But I think we put the interventions in and let's see what we take out here first. Glorybringer's probably too slow, and it doesn't work well against Bolas, so I think we take those two out. And I think we still want to be low to the ground. Maybe one Bone Crusher Giant's a little bit weak. Otherwise, I still think we want to run this. Let's see how this goes. Ship it back up. So game number two here against Dante Horn, 11. Dante Thorn, not Horn. Uh, yeah. Once again, we got the... Keep this. Turn one Mystic. Turn two Spellbreaker Coithus. Not too bad. Yeah, still think I'll probably end up playing the Cloythus on two if I can. Pass the turn. Let's play a game trail. Reveal a forest. Play a little Elvish Mystic and pass the turn. Now we do get punished here if they have a Legion's End. Because of that and that. Those different artworks, so it shouldn't count. Fetid Pools. Let's go. We have been wildly slashed. Turn two here. We'll just play a Mystic. Play this. Pass the turn. Still might get to do turn three Collected Company if they don't do anything here, though. Let's see what they got. And if they do kill it, we still have some turn three plays here. So we're still in fine spot. No, not to my company. Though they could take Cloythus, too, because Grixis just can't deal with them. Enchantments with Indestructible, probably ever, other than Veracity Contempt Read to Extinction if they're playing those. Cloythus down. Okay. Let's see, they kill on Mystic now as well. They're down to two cards, so. Let's uh, hold up the most obvious company ever. Like even so, they got three cards, so let's see what they decide to do here. Dragon's Horde? So this is like Grixis Dragons. I like it. Yep, 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 yep. Bad! Well, hopefully it's not a bad company. Hopefully it's a good company. It's a bad company. Not cool, man. Not cool. Oh, well, we're still going to get the Stomps on. Now we do this. Hold up Hiroki Intervention. We will give this haste. We will go to attack and swing eight. I bet you they won't even be guessing this heroic intervention. So not too shabby. We have this force to discard. If they play a bolus here, they'll have to draw a land and a bolus, and then there's. I mean, I guess they don't have to draw a land because of the dragon's horde. Cool. Neat. Yep. We'll discard this forest. Yeah, buddy, we'll discard that forest. Bone Crusher. So, I can attack with both of these. I still want to hold up Intervention. So, let's go ahead. Hmm. 
This actually might work out fine. Let's go to text. We'll swing both of these. Come on, buddy. So now we can decide to intervention or just throw that away. I, uh, I think we actually just throw it away. It's probably fine. Well, let's at least stomp. Stomp there. And now, do we want his intervention here? I think we do. Let's force him to have it. Trample over a little bit more. He's down to four. They gotta have a board wipe here in hand. I got this Bone Crusher on Adventure. Most of their removals target their spot base anyways. Because now they're at four. If they play another Bolus, then they're just dead because they have to chump block here. They take the four here. Okay. Is that it? Because if that's it, you're still dead. Oh, you control. Okay. So they're about dead. That'll do on it. Spellbreaker is just a monster in standard and pretty good in Pioneer too. Let's haste this out. Not FF. GG. Good win here against Grixis Dragons. Deck's broken. Let's go ahead and go to game two. It's game two against Jake MMG. We'll be on the draw yet again. I think it's weird how they let you tie die rolls in this game. Um Yeah, this is this will keep. The Gruel Mana, a lot friendlier in Pioneer than it is in Standard. What we got here? Humans. Mono white humans looks like this might this might run us over. Oh Boris Elite, okay. So we'll start in. We'll pay two life. Let's uh throw some elves out there. Pass the turn. It's turn two, we probably be stomping. We may be playing a uh, spellbreaker. We, we got things we can do. We can stomp and uh, mystic. Follow these attendants good. We're definitely gonna be stomping that now. Yep. Yep. No blocks, friendo. Yeah, it's like I want to play our three mana creatures here, but we really just can't afford to do that. So let's go ahead. Stomp Lieutenant. Play a Mystic, pass a turn. Let's play next turn. We may be able to hold a company, even while. Uh, ooh. If you're just swinging for two, I'll take that all day, my friend. No blocks. Glint Sleeve Siphoner, okay. You got it. Cool, so... One, two, three, four... Yeah, I think we're just playing the Stomping Ground tapped and passing the turn, holding up company. We can play company, then next turn play Spellbreaker and Rebel Master. I mean, that just seems really good. See, they go to attacks first. We probably have some great blocks here. Let's see what old Jake decides to do. Okay. Shocking that in. Reflector Mage. Let's see what they target. Well, now we don't get the element of surprise here. I'm not gonna lie, man. We've had some pretty unlucky company hits so far in these videos. And I think, as much as I don't want to, I'm going to chump block that. The Rabble Master is not going to be great here, I don't think. Very unlucky. Not not showing why companies in the deck thus far. Cleave. Kind of makes me regret what I just did. One, two, three, four, five. I think for now we just play a Bone Crusher out. Pass the turn over. Let's 
Now we can at least hold back on the siphoner if they just decide to do that. Let's see what they got. Deck and stone. Well, that'll do two to them at least. We have a raging clue. They're getting in, okay. Yep, can't do nothing about that. We're down to eight. Um. So I think here we just play another Land of War Elves out again. And then hold up the company once more. Surely we'll have a good, better hit this time. That way we're still representing double blockers here. And then if they want to attack in, hopefully. If they don't make us do this before they go attack, we can have some good company. Watch them just have like another Reflector Mage here. So, since these inner tapped, I'm going to have to do this again. So they can enter now beforehand. Well, I hit exactly what I said we needed. Much better. Let's see those attacks now, son. From here, we probably got lethal just with Ember Cleave. Let's see those attacks. Trigger. We will get rid of their Thalys Lieutenant. Doesn't really matter with this, I don't think. But yeah, I think they're probably going to be dead here. This will cost... Uh, yes, yeah, so we can play Rabble Mask. Actually, we can play Spellbreaker. It's probably better. Creatures. Well, that's just unfortunate. Let's not even show anything else. Let's just... Let's just go to attacks. Cleave costs four now. How dead are they? Pretty dead. Pretty dead. GG. Ember Cleave, believe in the cleave. So, we had a pretty bad company that first time. That second one just. Woo! So, against Esper Humans, I guess. Um, Magma Spray. Let's see here. Magma Spray hits. Quite a few of their stuff. It doesn't hit the Reflector Mage, but that's about it. So I think we throw that in. Lava Coil. I think Lava Coil is a little bit too slow. Um, Glory Ringer seems fine here. We'll cut down on one cleave. And... Rattle Master doesn't seem as good here, but I don't want to cut down too, too far down on our three drops. I think we run with this and see how it goes, though. Actually, maybe I put... Nah, that's right. That's right. Let's go with this. Look, guys. It's turn one. Turn one. one uh, Mana Dork. Turn two. Three drop. And the beauty of this is it gets to be a Steely Champion, perhaps. Not good against Reflector Mage, but good against most anything else. No one drops. You love to see it. You really just love to see it. Land of War Elves coming down. Ship the turn over. If they don't play anything here, then I'll probably Rabble Master. Okay. Tath Taker. Tath Taker! Um, do I just want to... I think I just want to Magma Spray that, and then get this Mystic down. Exiles that, so we don't have to worry about the Afterlife token. Let's get this down. Let's get the beats on. It's not a bad start for us here. We'll have five mana coming up next turn. They name humans. Not a surprise there. If you guys are playing Pioneer, guys and gals, let me know what you're playing. Because I'm not... I mean, I've been keeping up with the metagame, obviously, but I've not been playing a whole bunch myself. But I've been wanting to try something with some new cards. I just haven't really been sure what. Uh, the blue-black inverter deck is super neat. I'm just not sure if 
That's going to be my style right now. So yeah, we did that also just to protect against this very thing. Like bouncing an Elvis Mystic. Okay. Cute. Here. We got to play a green source. Play the Steel Leaf. Pass the turn. Let's see if we got another Reflector Mage. Like they try to tempo us out, but eventually they're going to run out of them, and these 5 4 bodies should be pretty good. They got another one. Just a Glen Sleeve. Not too scared of that. Oh, baby, is that all you got? They're down to three cards. Okay, not drawing crazy hot here, but. Let's play Mystic. Let's play. Play you. I guess I should play this Stomping Ground, but it shouldn't really matter. We'll always yield to that. Go to combat. Swing both of these in, start getting the beats in. Yep, easy block there. They're down to 14. We will pass the turn. Now they want to attack in with the uh, Glint Sleeve Siphoner. We can double block. They draw an extra card there. Actually, no, that was their first mana. Sorry. Concealed Courtyard, always on time. Tithe Taker, yeah, just not, not going to do it at this point, I don't think. But we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Definitely no attacks from them, I'd imagine. For real? Okay. Don't want them drawing extra cards there either, so I'm happy to trade two of these. Totally fine with that trade. And what are we getting here? Not a bad card, eh? So now, this will cost one extra. But so this will really cost five. Luckily we have it anyways. So we'll go to attacks here. This is the that was the perfect draw. Let's go to tax. Pump up. Pump up the Rabble Master. GG's? GG's, my friend? It's like, obviously, they're not dead yet, but, I mean, they're, they're pretty much dead. We'll go ahead and pass the turn here. We have a lot of draws off the top that are just lethal at this point anyways. Chalk it in. They do. <laughs> Going out in style. Like it. GG, Jake, MTG. 2 no with the list so far. Didn't even get the company that time. Let's play... We'll play one or two more. See how it goes. Last game of the day here. We actually get to be on the play for once. We're playing against Drom86. So we will take the play. Opener. Would you look at that, guys? Is this... Actually, who? No red mana? We're going to talk. Uh, can I do that? I don't think I can actually do that. Not on the play. That's more like it. So we'll keep this. We will bottom. Stomping ground, I guess. Alright. Still sad day, but we still get the turn one. Landmore Elf, turn two, Rebel Master, turn three, company, if all goes well. So they have mold to six also. Reveal that. Playland Warriors, Pastor. I would have liked to draw and at least see what we would have hit there just to see if it was super greedy. Okay, we got him. <laughs> Screw you, Dom86. We got gotcha. you. So sideboard-wise here, we'll win the game. <laughs> that doesn't count. Let's play one more that actually is a game. All right, last game of the day here against Soko. We'll be on the draw. Sometimes it'd be like that. Hey, look, guys. Turn one, Accelerant. Turn two. Three drop. Let's go. Ooh, they got the pretty forest. Okay. Okay. We will shock in. Play a mystic. Pass a turn. So now next turn we may end up just uh playing Atlanta War Elves and then stomping their mystic. That was visionary. That's a very pretty Elvis visionary art. Hopefully they don't draw land here. 
that seems that's what they're trying to do. The goose. So we'll end up having to shock the goose, I reckon. Well, they're already down to three cards in hand. So let's stomp the goose. And play an elves. Similar starts for both of us here. So one ones all day. They play land number three. Let's see what they do here with it. Nothing. I bet you they have company too. That wouldn't surprise me. One, two, three, four. So I think I actually shock in here. So I can play Land War Elves. Then we'll pass the turn holding up company. No attacks. Let's see if they company us. Ooh, they just. That's much better. Okay. Four mana, five mana. Nissa. Yikes. Yikes mean. Okay. Let's see what they attack with. We may have good blocks here. Let's play company. Hopefully we get a good hit here. Oh, God. We just keep hitting so many damn lands with this. We'll take this. So frustrating. Not bad, though. I think here we just go to attacks with, if we go with two of these, yeah, we'll have the mana for it, so. Always yield to that. Attack Nissa, attack Nissa. See what they decide to do here. One. Two, three, four. For the cleave. We're believing. We're cleaving. Let's go. So this is mega dead. And nothing else we can do here, so we'll pass the turn. We can throw down two Steel Leaf Champs this turn. They just play another Nissa. Nissa Vastworth Seer. Okay. Not too afraid of that. This is when they have seven lands, is that right? Okay, so they only got four right now. They can attack him with that, no problem. Sure. We will go to ten. Anything else, my friend. Play a land. Seder Wayfinder. Okay. They're looking like they might be about about to die. Westville Abbey in the hand. Ooh. That's a tad scary. First off, let's uh go to combat. Let's bigly swing. That's just so much damage. Them eating a land here is very good too. Or actually, not even, sorry, wrong, wrong creature there. So they're down to 11. Second main. Play a Steel Leaf Champ. And then we'll play another Steel Leaf Champ. Pass the turn. Let's hope this, hope this West of Abbey doesn't just kill us. Which it would be able to right now. I think we've actually got enough attackers where if they try to play it and sack it, it would kill them. They don't play it. They play a Fable Patches instead. That's one, two, three, four, five. So yeah, still not enough lands to flip the Nissa quite yet. What do they got here? It's a lot of mana. It's a lot of mana. 
Crisis for five. Okay. Cool. That's pretty good. But they tap down a lot of their blockers, which is also good. Okay. Spellbreaker, not too bad. Oops. Tap you for green. Spellbreaker will haste this out. Let's go to combat. We're attacking with everything, baby. No fear in this dojo. Math, four blockers. That's right. Look at that board. My god, let's go to sideboard. So game two against this deck. Uh, let's see here. We probably want the sprays for all the things they had there. I think that's about it. Lava Coil is a little bit too slow. Ember Cleave seemed fantastic. Uh, this is the one where Glory Bringer is probably just not good enough and too slow. So we'll take those out. We will drop. Rebel Master seemed okay. I mean, it won us the game basically, but. I think on the draw, maybe take out one. We'll put out this ugly land warriors. Let's go with this. All right, so game two here. Let's try to finish this off like undefeated 2-0-2-0-2-0. And I guess 1-0. Hey, look at that. We were greedy. We cut. One drop accelerant. And here we are. They start off with the Fable Passage. So good. So good. Da -da 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 sweet gruel spellbreaker. Bum bum bum. I think we probably just haste this out. Another fable pack. Okay. Cool. Root band crack coming in. Gruel spellbreaker coming in. I think we just haste this. Let's go. The 3-3 three, three can attack through the Spellbreaker, it can attack through a Gilded Goose, and can attack through a Nyssa, so I think uh, the 3-3 three, three with haste is the better option. Sure thing, bud. And I think next turn, you know, we're just companying. Back-to-back -back companies is hopefully enough to just bury them. The hand they kept, sep the hand they kept seems pretty slow, so I'd assume they've got some pretty powerful stuff, but they're just playing 1-1s one right now, so maybe not. Let's see what they do with the Seder Wayfinder. What is the Petitioner? Seems good. Voyaging Seder. Okay. I mean, they're going wide. Cloythus is a good card, but I don't think that's what we want quite yet. Let's go ahead and go to tax for now. Swing in. No good blocks here for them, so they probably go to 14. Pass turn. Now this is where we probably get Nissa and feel real bad. Maybe not. They've only got one for us so far, which is notable. I said one. It's probably going more than that now. They have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six ish mana. Okay. Okay. They doing things. Not bad. That's a good card against us. Turn four, even Wild Hydra. Ooh, and they got some Nykthos. That ain't bad. Swing with the Seder. Let's Coco. Let's go Loco. I think we want the Rabble Master and the Champ here. Place the rest of these any order. Um, so here we can send him with the Silly Champion. Unfortunately, not too good of attacks here. Send him with these. I'm not too worried about my life right now, so I think I just hold up company here. So they'll take five, go to nine. Yeah, hopefully even with this big threat here, they may just... May just die next turn with all of our attacks. Let's see. I mean, this will be on the draw still, turn four, having that. Attacking with 
with something held up. Yes, they got a Bronodon with a big butt. Terrifying. They are getting to do some things. Dirty. So dirty. Just 13 mana on turn 5. It's not a big deal. High Joy Crisis for 11. So we probably lose this game now. Can't imagine a way we can get through that. See what we hit here. Cloythus and Bone Crusher Giant. I mean, it could be worse. Here we will sack. Let's hit their Ugenwald Hydra. Okay. Always yield to that. I mean, I think we just got a swing, right? Because they're, they're going to kill us no matter what here. I mean, I think we're pretty much dead. I don't know. We could just... Fortunately, I think we just got to wait this out. But we're on a two-turn clock with this Hydroid Crisis. If we had a if we had Ember Cleave, this would be a different story. But they have four blockers, so I think we just send that in for now. We're probably dead this game. When you get turn 5, 11, 11 Crisis, there's not a lot you can do. They happen to just have everything they needed right there. So pretty lucky on their end for it, but what can you do? An Ember Cleave off the top is what we really need. Have, having to draw all three of my Cloythus in the first 15 cards is pretty unfortunate. If they do anything super big here, we'll probably just call it a day. Go to game three. I mean, they've already got eight mana right here, so. Let's see. My friend, just do your thing so we can go. Yeah, let's go ahead and just concede there. Go to sideboard. We can definitely beat this deck, though. Um, Ceratos could be an okay option here, but I think I think I like where we're at with this. You see why we took the Glorybringer out now? Like, it would have felt bad hitting that with 11-11 Crisis on the other side. Let's, uh, go with this. Alright, last game of the day here. Soko. Let's try to end this off. He, he broke our undefeated, undefeated streak, but we get to go on the play now. I think being on the play, this is actually better because we have these two stomps here. So even though I don't get to like do a busted turn three thing, this still isn't too bad of a hand. We'll even play the root gun crag first, so he thinks you know he or she. They think we have maybe have just don't have anything in hand here. Play this best turn. Mystic coming down. Stomp will be coming down too. Bolt the bird. Do that. Ship the turn back over to him. Love to draw a green source so I could just play out. Do they keep a one lander? You greedy, greedy rascal. Well, let's just still leave then. Put the beats down. You can't just rely on turn one elf, bud. We're going to stomp it again. Actually, no, we're not. We're probably just going to. Probably just going to run you over. If I stomped, I could be... Yeah, yeah, let's just run him over. Yeah. Do this, holding up. Collect a company. Cool. Yep. If we hit anything off of this, it's probably just GG's. I'd say that counts, don't you? Throw a counter on the Spellbreaker. Spellbreaker's great with company because you get to do that. Now we untap. Stomp this down. Rabble Master, they're they're dead. They're way dead. GG, buddy. They they kicked their butt in the game two there, but you get to see the power of this being on the play. Especially when they just keep terrible. Don't keep one landers, guys. Let's take a look at the deck one more time. So this is the deck once again, Cruel Company. For something I brewed up myself, not too bad, right? Um, we can probably use some changes here. Maybe main board and side board. Who knows? Um, it felt pretty good, though. Some of those whiffs on Collective Company did feel bad. But I think I've got it in a good spot. I mean, 27 hits off of it. Um, not a bad rate to be in. 
But, you know, it did feel good when he, or it felt bad when he saw, like, an Ember Cleaver or Glory Bringer go by. And maybe Glory Bringer's just not in a great place in the meta right now with people playing, like, Red Cat Melee and sideboards and things of that nature. But I still like it in the deck here. Perhaps this should be, like, a Legion War Ball, so maybe a Hamlar Garrison, or just, like, a good two-drop, maybe a Zertog Goblin or a Golly or something like that. But this is what I got. Hope you guys enjoy. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, we'll be doing some Pioneer more often, but we'll still be doing our standard, too, because I'm actually enjoying it for now. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for the support. If you're a standard person, please don't leave just because you saw Pioneer on here. Um, I've noticed a lot of my Pioneer videos seems to run people off sometimes. But we'll be doing a lot of standard, too. Don't you worry. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.